Hello YouTube, this is Nanimus1, and I am now back with episode, or er, part 3 of my Let's Play Skyrim uh, playthrough. So, I just left off after coming here with, um, boy, what's his name? Well, it was one of the guard guys, um, and essentially I came to Riverwood with him. Let's see what his name is. Hadvar, that was it. Okay. Sweet. So, I came here with Hadvar and I got to meet his uncle, who's this blacksmith here, which is kind of neat because he kind of gives me stuff. So, um, now I have the task. I think this is supposed to be sunlight. This little bar at the top of the screen. My next task should be in my journal, so let's hotkey that. But before the storm, talk, talk to the Earl of Whiterun. Okay. So we should do this. Let's show this on the map. So they told us where Whiterun is. Yeah, so know about maps. Okay, so we are going to head right over there, which means we're going to go through Whiterun. So we need to go to Whiterun first. Okay, well, let's... Place a marker there. Okay. Now we we're going to take the trail. I wish we really had a horse. Having a horse is so much nicer for hiking like this. Who's this? Who's this? Yes. Maybe I can buy his horse. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. It's a nice man. He's not saying the thing. It's funny because I thought. Until next time. Yeah, I I thought ooh. Ooh, sparklies. Did you see that? Yes. That was cool. Um, so yeah, I sometimes there's kind of a funny thing where the commoners, like, there's a missing phrase, but it's one of those super generic phrases. I think it's free to harvest these, which is super nice, because salmon are the best. Except when they're not cooked. Unless they're smoked, but I don't think that's the thing you could do that in this game. So, um, I... Okay, this is one of those things. Brightness, it's so dark. Goodness. I might have to adjust, get a different EMB. It's really dark. These little pits right here. Like, it wouldn't actually be this dark. Maybe, oh, let's see what time it is. That's the evening. Okay, and we have, come on, come on, bring it. Whoa. Really sucks when you can't see them. Okay, let's take all your wolf stuff. And who's your friend? Come on. Oh, I know I killed another one. Alright, well, I mean, if I can't find him, I can't find him. Okay, so my health is low. Um, let me see if I inventoried my potions. No, I didn't. Okay, well, I'm, you can hot, I'm gonna hotkey my potions because those are really, really convenient to have hotkeyed. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go to my potions, set that to number four. And I only saved three for kind of a backup type thing. Okay, now I'm gonna drop one of these. There we go. It's a nice thing about the uh, the Skyrim redone that TN 3DO does, um, because it kind of balances everything out. I mean, you can't. I mean, I I get slowed down when I'm under this much, um, like lower lowered health. Ooh, who's this? Hmm. Shady Sam. <laughs> I like this. I feel like this is part of a mod. Let's see what happens. Take a look, which means he's a mod because when voices are missing like that. Okay, lock picks. Oh, hell yes. I'm going to buy every last one of these. Whoa. Whoa. I can't do that. He's selling them for 50 each? My, my barter must be terrible. Health fortification. He's oh, these are so expensive. That's not none. None of these 
are like reasonable. Actually, I, I'll take Skuma. That stuff's supposed to be like really good. Except he's selling for 300. Never mind. Okay. All well. right then. Sorry, bud. I'm poor. Yeah. So that little flash is the auto saving because that's part of a uh, chasm or um I don't know if it's called chasm here. Ooh, it's a it's a raiding party down there. There's another mod I have that's uh it gets you patrols. Um, chasm is like Sipsis autosave manager, which I set up right at the very beginning. I don't know if it was in the. That bugs me. That bugs me. Um, I set up in the beginning, so I don't have to keep reminding myself to save. That should really be fixing itself by now. Come on. Hooray! Like Legion dudes. Imperial business. Be on your way. Sit. Imperial business. Be on your way. Oh, come on. If you know any true and some daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. That's annoying. Okay, well. It's getting dark out, which is never the best thing because I have a... This is a realism thing, so... It's gonna be really dark. Whoa. This is Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Hm. I don't even know what just happened. Certainly not, but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. Okay, I did not see any giant. Maybe I missed that. An I outsider, eh? That. Never heard of the companions? Nope. An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. So, you're mercs. But it's money. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up at Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. Cool. If you go to him, good luck. <laughs> okay. This is a giant. All right. What do you have? You have arrows. I like arrows. Okay. See, I want. I want to have. What are you guys? What? Like ring around the rosy around a stump. Um, yeah, I really wish I had a torch. I love using torches. Torches are my thing. Okay, light run stables. This is where I get a horse, but I'm still really poor. Not like a little tower or something. Can I can I get in there? Ooh, it's cute. All right. So I'm gonna put this away. I think you can run faster if I. Oh, I did something. Okay, that's an auto save. I can sprint, and my stamina isn't terrible. Oh, hell yeah, dude! I, I just leveled up. Let's do this. Okay, leveling up. I didn't do level one apparently. So let's do everything. I'm probably wearing an amulet. I don't recall putting one on, but okay. Health is nice, so let's do that. Sweet. Perks to increase. Maybe I only get to do a level up once every two levels. Maybe that's what um, 30 balance does. Okay, I love arrows, and I also love lock picking. It's the first for lock picking. Picking. God, that's hard. Right, sneak. Marksmanship. Sweet. Draw bows 10% faster and temp. Ooh. I'm just going to take this. Well, what do I use more? Yeah, two handed sword. So 20% more damage. Let's. 
Let's just do that because my main weapon is a sword for right now. We'll come back to upgrading my marksmanship later. Okay. Sweet. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Oof. Dragons about. So apparently they heard. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay. That's cool. That that, that frame just makes me happy. For some reason, they just look really nice under the light. Okay, so let's see here. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Yeah. I have to admit, one of, the, one of the things that really just makes my day about a lot of these little places is the fact that there's always chickens running around. I always just get a kick out of that. Alright, what is this? Drunken Huntsman. There's a lot of cute little stalls because I have the better... Do those just like disappear or are those always there? Um, this little stalls. Elven Broadsword of Kasumi. Shortbow of Dismay. Look at these. Yes. I would totally steal all that. Sinia, who are mm -hmm. you? Hi. Need something? Uh, apparently I can't talk to you. Okay. Um, I am going... Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. Well. Dragons I can handle. But this talk of dragons? World gone mad, I say. Okay. Let's... All right, I didn't want to do that. Let's go to the map. I wanted to take off my pin because I got here. Okay. Okay, dragon's reach, and I get to go talk to the Jarl. See, I, I'm wondering if the um. Nothing. Let's see. My lord, please. What's the this meaning of this time interruption? Time Jarl Balgoth is not receiving visitors. I just... Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. Um, I kind of feel a little bit witty right now. Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Well, that was kind of the, yeah, the perils were about to execute Ulfric, Stormcloak, and then a dragon attacked. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against Proventus. The My lord. Proventus. As in to prevent? In the most immediate danger. If you 
dragon is lurking in the mountain. This is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Oh. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a oh. small token of my esteem. That's nice. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Well, you don't even Come, know me. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. Cool that. I'm going to tone down the autosave really quick because it's, uh, let's see, save events, location discovered, let's not do it, quest completed, yes, incremental save, let's do like eight minutes because Just because it seems to be auto saving a little bit more than it needs to. I'm just gonna walk slow like he does. Oh god, look at me, I look terrible. Just look at that new armor that he gave us. Barbarian armor. 27. And then a 50, yeah. I'm gonna just sell that. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be <laughs> Sounds like fun. Uh, Alright, uh, where, where am I going? What am, what am I going to get? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Uh, is there anything you can tell me? Because, I mean, Hadvar, or you don't know Hadvar. One of the Imperial guys told me about this Bleak Falls Barrow place. It's supposed to be haunted. An old tomb built by the ancient Nords. Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. Oh. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know the stone tablet's even there? Well, you must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't you? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Okay. Um... Yeah, right, sounds good. Well, I'll you know, go carry that out. Now. You should join Anything the mages call to fight the dragon or dragons. We need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Yarl Balbuf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Cool. All right. So I'm going to head right back out onto this great porch right here. And it's probably crack of dawn in the morning right now. Or maybe not crack of dawn, but it's probably pretty late. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go rent a room and hit the sack. And then we can start up next morning. 
Just a few more that I can call under some force. Okay. Where's this place? That's a temple. This is like, wow, this is very, need something, no. yes, well met kinsman, I need a, I need I a room, I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire, I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda, anyway, what do you need, I need a room for the night, sure thing, it's yours for a day, well, okay, thanks, I'll show you to your room, right this way. Yes. <laughs> ah. What can I do for you? Need something? You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. It's kind of interesting. Let me know if there's anything else you need. What are you doing in my room? I've always loved Skyrim. Some of the best mead in town. This is a really weird end. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit the hay. And sleep until, let's say, 7 tomorrow. Alright.